Scientists, welcome back to our Zero GFP Engineering Hero Series at Aminolabs channel. Today we are doing the DNA extraction kit. For the kit and the book and everything else, you can check out the description box below with resources and links. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step is safety. Before doing any scientific experiment, you need to make sure you are safe from the chemicals and chemicals are safe from you. So for today's video, you will need a plastic apron or a lab coat and pair of gloves. And you can find both of these at pharmacies, at drug marts, or order them online. And if you have a long hair like me, please hide at the back. And for, to know more about safety and safety precautions, you can check out the links and uh, we are going to link in the description box or check out our upcoming video about safety. Step two is set up. Make sure you have a clean and flat surface to work on. You have your DNA extraction kit, you have your strawberries, and if you can find strawberries, you can use a kiwi or banana. You have a 91 or 99% as a problem alcohol. You have a shot glass, one more big glass. You have a bag to put the things you don't need anymore. You have a pair of black scissors, and you're ready to go. Step three is doing the actual experiment. So let's get started. First, you will need your sterile water, which is different from tap water in a way that doesn't have extra ions that can uh, get in the way of our experiment. So let's first, let's pour our sterile water into our mixing bag. And every time you add something to the mixing bag, I will suggest close it. Uh, you don't need this anymore, so you can put it in your plastic bag. The next step is adding your salt. Carefully cut your salt. You can put it. You can put it somewhere else. When you open the bag, open the bag and add your salt. I think the salt will help us in the future in a way that it's going to bind to DNA to make sure nothing else binds to DNA. It's like it's like a blanket that's going to cover the DNA from others. Now can add a strawberry. I will also suggest cutting the top part. So you can use your scissors or a knife. So now we can put the strawberry in. Close the bag. And now we can smash it. After you mix for a few minutes, now you can add your lysis buffer. So first you can open the bag, then open the lysis buffer, and you can add this. Lysis buffer is going to destroy further the cell walls and make sure we actually get to the DNA, because strawberry is a plant, which means its DNA is stored in nucleus inside of a cell, so we actually need to break the cell wall to get to the DNA itself. So now we can mix it for a few more minutes. So now you can see you have more liquid. The next step is filtering our solution. So now we can open the filter. You can use either a glass to put it or a clip like this. It's easy for you, so carefully. Okay, one time, one more time. Mix it. Because as you can see, you still have these small, small cells. We don't need them. That's why we're gonna filter it. So we only have the solution with the DNA. This much is going to be enough. We don't need this anymore. And now you have my millimeter of acetyl alcohol in the tube. And also, don't smell the alcohol. It's not good for your lungs. So you can open it and pour into the shot glass. And throw it away. So now, let's see. Be carefully pour this in front of alcohol. Mix it a little bit and wait for a couple of minutes. 
But what happened is when we added the solution into the alcohol, the alcohol started bumping off the other molecules, including the water, by leaving the DNA by itself. And remember the salt we added? So the salt helped the DNA to wrap it around itself and not connect with any other molecule. So we have now precipitated DNA. And you can use a toothpick to take a closer look. And congratulations with extraction your first DNA. Take off your gloves, you can use this technique. Take out one hand, and before you take the other glove off, use your thumb to get the other one and wrap it around. Thank you so much for watching and scientists. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like this video and don't hesitate to share with your friends and teachers. Also don't forget to press the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. In the comments, please share with us your results from the DNA extraction kit and let us know if you have any further questions. You can check out the description box below for more resources and links and see you in the next video.